Good evening, good evening. What's going on, folks? Welcome to another Carolina Panthers Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. So, I wanted to get on here right quick and talk about uh, Carolina's recent signing. They signed another player. And also go over their recent uh, mock draft uh, 5.0 report as it focuses more on as it's getting closer to the draft here at the end of April. So going to talk about what was said in that article, which was from Panthers.com. But first, before we dive in, I want to let y'all know to be sure to check out the link to Game Beauty in the description for an awesome lineup of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. And if you see something you like and want to make a purchase, be sure to use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP and you can get 10% off of your order. So, nice little discount. But hey, nothing wrong with discounts, right? Use it. Anyway, let's get started. Panthers have decided to add some more depth on the linebacker core with more specific special teams as they have signed veteran linebacker Kamu Grogier Hill. 28 years old, 6'2", 220 pounds, um, has been in the league since 2016. Uh, he has experience. He also has experience as a starter as well with the Eagles and Texans. 37 career starts and 98 appearances. He was a sixth round pick of the New England Patriots uh, from Eastern Illinois. He's also spent some time with the Dolphins and Cardinals. And so apparently he could cover at the inside linebacker spot behind Shaq Thompson and, and Frankie Louvu. Let's look at let's look at what what kind of stats he's had. So yeah, he's played four seasons for Philadelphia for the Philadelphia Eagles, one season for the Miami Dolphins, two for the Houston Texans, and one for the Arizona Cardinals. He has two hundred and eighty two total tackles, uh, two hundred and six of them solo tackles. He has five sacks, five forced fumbles, two fumble re recoveries. He also has two interceptions. Okay. So, tackling machine. Um, he set his career high of tackles with 108 his first year with the Texans back in 2021. 71 of them solo tackles. Not bad. So yeah, he's pretty much a tackling machine. Yeah, he's a he's a ta tackling machine. But hey, he brings a lot of experience to the mix. So hey, can't can't hate on that. Um But yeah, um, as a matter of fact, last year he spent he played six six games with the Texans before being moved to the Cardinals to finish out the season. But yeah, definitely seems like a tackling machine. And I mean, with him having starter experience, and he says also special teams. So I guess that's why I could see him possibly being used more on special teams. Because apparently they had a good handful of um, folks that departed as free agents that were specifically special teams. So, but at least that's cool. You have him on special teams. If he needs to come in to, you know, to start or come in on the rotation or whatnot on defense, at least he's able to do that. So that's good. That's good. You know, depth on defense in the linebacker position and a special teams player. 
nice combo. Nothing wrong with a combo. So, hey, I'm cool with it. I'm definitely cool with it. So, welcome to the Carolina Panthers, Camus Grogier Hill. Hope he does well. And then when you think about it, look at Frankie Louvu. Spent most mostly at first with the Panthers, a special teams guy. When he got reps with the defense, he blew up. And now look at Frankie Louvu. So, hey, why can't it happen with this guy? You never know. You never know. Okay. And then let's talk about the recent article on Panthers.com, Mock Draft Report version 5.0. So, going to go through to see what the latest mock draft picks are. Let me get some water right quick. Okay, let's see what they got here. So, they got Cynthia Fridlund, and she's going C.J. Stroud with that number one overall pick. She says, in my models, Stroud has the highest floor of any quarterback in year one. Why? He has the sturdiest base per computer vision. This means that his ability to throw, even when his platform isn't ideal, like when he's under pressure, forecasts to result in the fewest turnover-worthy plays. Which, hey, the least turnover turnovers you have, the better chance you have of winning games, that's for sure. So, I like it. All right, Mike Tannenbaum, he's actually going... Bryce Young with that number one overall pick. Let's see what he has to say. Says, and I quote, I'd be going all in on Bryce Young. It was a tough call for me, and I just narrowly picked him over Ohio State CJ Stroud. But while Young's five foot ten, 240, 204 pound size is a concern, his talent is unquestionable. He's the guy I'd lean on to turn the passing game around in Carolina. Since 2019, no Carolina Panthers quarterback has thrown more than 17 touchdown passes in a season. That would change in 2023 with Bryce Young, who had 79 touchdown passes over the past two seasons, tossing precision passes. I mean, he, he has a point. Since 2019, no Panthers quarterback has thrown more than 17 touchdown passes in a season. Ugh, that's, that's, a, that's a low number. That is a low number. Yeah, that's, whew. That's, man, that is a low number. But, I mean... The dude has, he's, he's made some good points. He's made some good points. That That's all I know. He's, he's made some good points. Anyways, let's move on to the next person. Ryan Wilson, he's going C.J. Stroud. And he says, C.J. Stroud had a great pro day, and it further solidified his case as one of the top two quarterbacks in this draft class. We've heard that the Panthers are high on Stroud, and for now, we have him going number one because it's easy to envision him transitioning from Ohio State to a Carolina staff that includes Frank Reich and Jim Caldwell. Very good point. Mike Renner is also going C.J. Stroud with that number one overall pick. He says, and I quote, Stroud makes sense as a safer bet for a team in search of a franchise quarterback. He possesses easily the best fundamentals of any of the top quarterbacks and brings a high floor with the accuracy he showed at Ohio State, which is the highest on target rate of any quarterback in the class this, last year. Woof. All right, Bruce, Bruce Feldman, he's going C.J. Stroud as well. And he says, 
Stroud is worthy of the top overall pick. He checks every relevant box. Buckeye coaches have been raving to NFL personnel about his intelligence, according to sources. He is extremely accurate, can make all the throws, has played and excelled in many big game situations, is very football smart, and sees the field well, even if it's muddy. A lot of praise there. A lot of praise. And then finally, Damian Parson. He's going C.J. Stroud as well. And he says, The Panthers need to find stability at the most important position in football, quarterback. C.J. Stroud is the best quarterback and purest passer in the class. Stroud's accuracy and ball placement fit this offense well. Completing the build around Stroud could make them favorites in the NFC South in the near future. So, mainly out of this report, majority going C.J. Stroud with one going Bryce Young. I mean, I get it. I definitely get it, and it does seem like it does seem like the uh, the favorite looks to be C.J. Stroud. Also, we're going to dive in a little bit more with Todd McShay's predictions for round one and two. And I'm going to focus specifically on Carolina for, for this. But here we go. He is going C.J. Stroud as well. And here's what he says, and I quote, We know the Panthers are drafting a quarterback. They have been searching for a long-term long fix and sent a big bag of assets to Chicago to jump up here in order to find it. But we still don't know for sure which quarterback they want. We might not have the answer until the pick is announced and I'm not sure Carolina even knows just yet. I projected Alabama's Bryce Young here in my last mock draft, but I'm going with C.J. Stroud this time around. It could really go either way. Stroud is the best pocket passer in the class, with outstanding accuracy to every level and a really good feel for reading the field. His 88.9 total QBR last season was second in the country and he threw 41 touchdown passes to just six interceptions. He should be an immediate upgrade and could have the Panthers challenging for the NFC South title in short order. But I'd like to see Carolina add a little more around him. It signed Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, and Miles Sanders, but the trade up to number one cost the team DJ Moore, which is true, but I mean, that's big. 88.9 total QBR last season. That's high. 41 touchdown passes to six interceptions. I mean, when you can get through a season throwing less than 10 interceptions, that's that's a big deal. And yes, he would definitely be a big upgrade for Carolina, even as a rookie. But I do understand what he means as... It could be Bryce Young. It could be C.J. Stroud. But it sounds like a lot of folks' favorites are turning out to be C.J. Stroud. But we'll see. And then for round two, let's see what he has for round two for Carolina. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So for round two, he's predicting that we go with the offensive guard from Florida, Osiris Torrance. Says, let's get Stroud some protection on the interior. Torrance allowed just two sacks over 47 starts, many of which came at Louisiana before transferring and he rarely gives up ground to pass rushers. He'd also help open things up for Miles Sanders in the run game. 
as he shows the ability to control linemen and move them laterally. Dang, only gave up two sacks and 47 starts? I'd say that's pretty dang on good. Um, My only thing is, I mean, we have picked up a little bit of insurance in our O-line. I mean, we, we re-signed Bradley Bozeman. We're keeping him. Um, I mean, we, we signed a couple of folks, now that I think about it. We, we brought in another uh, offensive lineman. I'm trying to remember what... Oh, yeah, uh, Justin McCray. That's right. I knew we brought in another offensive lineman. So, I mean, you know, we, we've, we've gotten in a little bit of insurance. I mean, I know that Austin Corbett and Bradley Brady Christensen are are rehabbing over the off season from their injuries. But I mean, I don't know. I can I can understand him picking offensive line second round, although I still think we could afford to get personally another weapon, another wide receiver, maybe another edge rusher, unless we get one in free agency. Uh, another cornerback, unless we get one in free agency. That That's what I'm thinking. But, I mean, a little bit more insurance at offensive line. It's not a terrible idea. I just, I'm not sure if it's no longer high on the priority list now. Because, I mean, we do need weapons. But, Protection is also important, so I get it. But, but yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for this video. Uh, like I said, um, I like the signing and uh, Camus Gr Grogier Hill um, with these mock drafts. Looks like it's confirming once again a lot of folks' favorite. C.J. Stroud for Carolina with that number one overall pick. But we'll see what happens. Um, also, my next uh, Carolina Panthers live stream, I'm going to do a mock draft. Uh, probably two to three of them. Um, I know I definitely want to do one with no trades. Like no trades, no accepting trades, no trades. I want to do one with no trades. And then I'll do another that will allow trades. I'm thinking maybe I'll do two more, like one where where I accept trades, and another where I, you know, try to offer trades. Or I might just do two, but I know one for sure I want to do with no trades. So. Be on the lookout for that, which I'll probably do that tomorrow evening, but just letting y'all know. But that'll do it for this video. Um, don't forget to check out the link to Game Beauty. Also, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. What do you think about the latest signing of linebacker Camus Grogear Hill? Also, what do you think about uh, the latest mock draft report? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video for another Carolina Panthers Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I am your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of their evening, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.